Welcome back to another Anime Impact video. We right back with another showcase. After one Hashira comes the next. And we're using Sonami. Sonami being an attack fighter. More defense. Lower speed. Lower evasion. But at the same time, you know, he got more attack too, right? Basic attack, zero turn. No passive, by the way. Kind of booty. Dark, I mean, dust... I can't read. Dust whirlwind cutter. 200 physical, one turn. Create a wind cyclone. This might be multi hit and it applies bleed. This, I ain't gonna lie, this might no, it's not multi hit, so it's just a damn one skeleton. This is a one hit move. His, he got, his second move is a three. This is a 1.3 skeleton. Vertical wind slashes. Okay, this, it says vertical, so this, this goes through block. I'm, I'm almost positive. But it says wind slashes. Maybe this is multi hit. A multi hit with 1.3 skeleton sounds crazy. 220 physical sounds insane. And then his, his AoE, oh, wait, he has AoE. Send a point into the sky, or no, send into the air. This is most definitely a, a move that goes past block. 155 damage. Yo, his damage numbers looks like, like his scale and damage numbers look insane. Like, he, he should be doing insane work for real. Like, I like that, actually. He has a chance to bleed. It looks like only this one says bleed, but maybe all of them inflict bleed. I know these. This one goes through block for, uh, most depth because it says send, send into the air. This might go through block, maybe. But he looking like a he looking like a pure damage dealer. We got you know t uh, Tokido with us and Rengoku because Rengoku was like I said if I don't use him now I'm not gonna use him ever. We're taking him into the Spirit Society, the Trader Aizen. We gonna try and see if he can get, do some real damage in. Let's see, let's see. 2.5 times speed to see his animations. Hmm. Okay, he starts off with his two right here. Single. Uh, ooh. I ain't gonna lie, that's some amazing posture damage. I'm not gonna lie to you. But this is amazing posture damage. Especially him being level 50. Yep, amazing posture damage to people his own level. I wanna see what how much damage it does. So I'm not damage, I wanna see how much like what it actually does. We already know what this dude does. You know, he 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 puts in work. Not not put in work that way, you know. He he does he goes he goes a little stupid, a little silly mode. Let's see. I hope if, if it's multi hit, it's gonna be so tough. Maybe not though. It's not a multi hit. It's just a one. Okay, so it didn't say airborne. At least I didn't see the airborne, so it doesn't go through the block. Rengoku's procs fire. I'm gonna just base attack with him. Throw this on him. Actually, yeah, throw this on him. Oh no, no. That, that, that was Sonami. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what Sonami does. This one is getting put on, you know, this one. And then uh, we gonna drop a shield on Sonami because what? No. Misclick. Get that evade up, speed down. That could have been an AoE move. That could have been an AoE move, I ain't gonna lie. That move also did, ain't doing that much damage for real. But now we have his actual AoE. I wanna see how much this does, just by itself. That was, that was alright. That was alright, that was alright. He ain't really doing as much damage as I would hope he would do, sadly. But it was alright. Let's drop one of these. Now we see we see we seen all his moves now. Put that one five times speed. You can put mm, the posture damage though. The posture damage is that's real scrum dillyumptious, you feel me? That's some nice posture damage. Drop an AoE right here. Flaming tiger on this end. So she's gonna try to kill water type. Let's see. Okay, we got a stagger. I feel like Flame and Tiger does a bunch of posture damage, honestly. I ain't gonna lie. Posture break on him when we land that. Rising Dust Storm. Let's hit that in the middle. I just, just want to see the damage numbers. Okay, we got a crit right there. I ain't gonna lie. That crit was kind of cool. Cool, cool little, cool little, cool little six, you know, 1600 real quick. This is gonna be a one shot posture. We love to see that. Unknown Flame might as well. His, you know, he has damage, but he doesn't have multi. Like all the one hits, is kind of, kind of hoeing his boss damage for real. That that didn't even he dodged it. Sheesh. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. He dodged it. I would have loved to actually see that. Is it? Yep. He has a cooldown phase. Insane, actually. Units that have cooldown phases now is like, bro, you gotta output that damage, man. Block that. Block that. 
after his cooldown phase, he has everything up. I like that. He staggered, hit him with this. Drop this on that one. Put a shield on herself, actually. And then Rengoku's just going to be ass like usual. That did some good damage to being ineffective. I like that. Flaming Tiger should grip them right here. I, I want to see this. Rengoku, don't fail me. Don't fail me. There we go. There we go, Rengoku. Do something. Be useful some way. Some way, somehow, be useful. Call Wind Strike. Effective. Hit the other one with, with this one. Blazing Universe. You know, he's... I ain't gonna lie. He looking kind of... I haven't seen anything that's like extraordinary about him so far. He, he looks like just a just a pure damage dealer. He ain't, he ain't as good as Akaza, sadly. You know, Akaza has all the multi hits and the auto like guaranteed posture breaks pretty much. But he, he ain't really, he not really eating, I ain't gonna lie. Diamond Storm. His, his cooldown is being shorter. It's, it's kind of good though. But he also doesn't have a zero turn move, which is always throw out. So as you see, he had a cooldown phase. Okay, posture break, like that, like that. The Goku's gonna put the flame on him, so I'm just gonna basic attack. Got the grip. Here comes Aizen, now can he win the 1v1? Maybe he does one. Oh, oh my goodness. He's not winning shit if he, if he can't do anything. Baited that out, you know, W. Let's go for the dust storm. He just, he just, he just dodged it. All right, let's go for another move. Okay, just dodge that as well. Let's go for another move. Finally got some damage, and it wasn't even all that. Holy shit! What's up with these new units not being able to... Okay, we got him to half right there. I'll take that. He bought the Kyoka right here, so I'm about to, I'm about to heal. Yep. Knew that was coming. Dust Whirlwind. Black Boss, lucky he didn't hit. He didn't hit I was... Okay, he's just dodging everything. We're just, we're just in a dodge fest right here. This, this nigga's accuracy, his accuracy is horrible. He also haven't got a single bleed in, by the way, this, this whole time. So it really is. A, it's, just, it's a small chance. We got we got the stagger. No bleed still, but this should kill him. And now that we got the, you know, the stagger. No? That didn't finish him? Come on, bro. Not a single bleed proc, by the way. It's just 23k. Oh, my. He's looking... Looking kind of mid. To be honest with you, he don't really do anything. Like his damage, his damage not that high. His posture not that high. Like he really just a mid ass unit. He really ain't got no side effects for real. A real, real mid character, bro. And I'm be honest with you, we got a place for mid characters. It's called D tier, right? Now where did I put him in D tier? I, w I would say. He outstats everybody else. So if I had to put him somewhere, I'd probably put him at like, uh, I'll put him behind Shiesty Sorcerer only because Shiesty, Shiesty Sorcerer has like, he has way more flexibility, you feel me? Shiesty Sorcerer is actually Shiesty. Like, that, that boy, that boy can get to the bread. He, he has a whole lot of, Sonami, he has a whole lot of, you know, types. So you can do way more Shiesty Sorcerer than you could Sonami. Sonami being stuck to just win type, the bleed never proc. Like he wasn't really doing that much positive damage. The damage was kind of ass, bro. Like he he could he could have been better. He could have been a lot better, bro. Sadly, another character that's like damn, I low key rock with. It was his ass and base. Now what does he say? See if his Evo isn't that hard to get, maybe his ass and base could be you know kind of understandable. Let's see. It ain't that hard to get actually. Yeah. It, it's pretty much the same as um, it's the same as you know hers for real. Yeah, it, it ain't that hard to get. It ain't that hard to get. So this is actually a valid. This looks like a 
I wouldn't say it's a valid trash base, but I can understand why it's not that good for real. You know, it's, it's evil not. It's, it's it's annoying to get, but it ain't really hard. You know, you just gotta put in maybe like actually two three days of AFK might be devious work, especially when the game keep disconnecting, so you don't really get a full night of AFK. Pain, 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 pain. But hey, y'all enjoyed it? Drop a like down below. We got a couple more characters to showcase. I, I'm missing like three characters like from the banner. I'm trying to see if I can pull them. Uh, they 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 like not coming back. You know, Doma hasn't been in the banner yet, by the way, so... But Tanjiro and, like, Giotaro, I missed them, like, twice already when I was asleep or just not on my PC. So, yeah, hopefully I catch them next time and we get the videos on them and we know after we get to do everything else. So, if you enjoyed it, like down below. If you want to see more, drop a subscribe if you don't mind. You feel me? It's free. Help the channel out. And, yeah, I'll catch y'all boys later. Peace!